There are many different types of punishments that societies have used to keep the peace and deter criminal behavior. However, some of these punishments went beyond harsh into the realm of the bazaar. Punishment practices from ancient China to medieval Europe have long fascinated and horrified modern audiences. This article will look at the use of unusual punishments throughout history and the effects they had on human culture. The guillotine, used in France in the 18th and 19th centuries, is one of the most infamous execution methods in human history. The head was severed in one clean swoop to ensure a quick and painless execution for the criminal. However, the public's psyche was also affected by the guillotine due to its frequent display in public squares as a spectacle meant to show the might of the state. Because of its association with the execution of thousands of people during the French Revolution, including King Louis XVI, the guillotine has become a byword for the period. Small crimes in medieval Europe often resulted in the offender being publicly humiliated in the stocks or pillory. Offenders would have their hands and feet chained to wooden restraints and displayed for all to see and mock. Offenders were often pelted with rotten food and feces while in the stocks and pillory, making the punishment more of a public shaming. Hello, inquisitive souls. Greetings and welcome to Hallmark History's version of the past. Today let's step into the outlandish forms of punishment throughout human history. However, be forewarned that some of these punishments may surprise and shock you, leaving you to wonder how on earth humans came up with such ingenious ways to inflict pain and suffering. Get comfortable and get ready to learn about some of the strangest forms of punishment across the globe. The ripple effects of such brutal, erratic, and downright strange punishments on society were difficult to predict. On the one hand, they were effective deterrents because of the fear of public shame, pain, or death they instilled in would-be criminals. However, the public's distrust of the legal system and the government's power increased as a result of the severity of these punishments. Here are nine unusual sentences from history that will make you cringe, chuckle, and possibly throw up. 1. Imagine how painful it is to have a mullet and radishes. A man who committed adultery in ancient Athens could face public punishment in the Agora. The Rapanidosis. The legal penalty would be imposed upon him there. This could only be done by pushing a radish under some cover. Before the radish was inserted, the guilty man would also have hot ash used to remove all of the hair from his privates. The Romans engaged in similar adulterous behavior, although they typically used a grey mullet, the fish, not the hairstyle, as a substitute for the intended lover. Adulterers were looked down upon by the Romans, who could sentence them to a fine, rape, castration, or even death. 2. Put a lid on Lissa's iron casket. It's clear that people in the Middle Ages found quick deaths to be a little boring, as many methods of execution were devised to prolong the condemned person's screams. The iron coffin of Lissa is one such destructive technique. The prisoner was locked inside an iron coffin and forced to watch the lid slowly close for several days. Slowly, almost too slowly to see, the cold iron would touch their nose. There was rising tension and excruciating physical pain as it gradually crushed them to death. 3. Out of sequence like a bang, staying in it for hundreds of years, people living in rural areas of Britain were subjected to an unusual form of collective punishment. Northern England and Scotland called it riding the stong, while parts of southern England called it skimmington riding. Whatever you want to call it, it always involved a group of rowdy villager teasing and humiliating the perpetrator with a parade through town. The young men of the village got to work planning the procession when they heard rumors that a husband had hit his wife. The stung was a hurdle or pole used to carry a village joker through the streets. Pots and pans were banged, and whistles and horns were played. Everyone in the village would take part, and the procession would wind its way through the streets until it finally reached the offender's home where the instigator was no doubt cowering behind closed doors and windows. It was either a member of the shaming team or the offender being carried around in a wheelbarrow. Recent occurrences of riding the stong in Britain history begin as recently as 1889. 4. To suffer a fate even worse than death. Europeans, accustomed to various forms of grisly public justice, were shocked and appalled by Balthasar Gerard's execution. After being found guilty of murdering William of Orange, he was put to death in Delft, the Netherlands, in 1584. 
the 18 days of torture that preceded Gerard's execution were horrific. First, he was beaten, then his wounds were treated with honey, and finally, his hand was dragged through a pot of hot oil. To try and lick the honey off of it, a goat was brought in, but the goat had second thoughts. When that was done, Balthasar's arms were branded and his limbs were stretched. Burnt bacon grease covered him from head to toe, and the flames shrank his feet to miniature proportions. It started with the ripping of the skin off his feet and ended with the axing of one of his arms. Over the next two weeks, his flesh was slowly but surely being torn away from his body by hot tongs. He was left tied naked in the middle of a busy street with coal carts circling him before he could even collect himself. A huge barbecue ensued after they were set on fire, with poor Balthasar as the main attraction. His legs and the one arm he had left were broken, and he was bound to a cartwheel while he was still barely alive. He was abandoned at the wheel for six hours while he writhed in pain. Out of compassion, the executioner garaged Erar before disemboweling and quartering him. 5. The Halifax Cow Killer Long before the notorious Madame Guillotine was making a bloody mess during the French Revolution, a similar instrument was severing heads from bodies in a Yorkshire town. This was known as the Halifax Gibbet. Between 1541, and likely earlier, and 1650, the five-meter-tall device executed roughly 50 people. Since no one in Halifax wanted the job of the official executioner, Every execution by the gibbet had a slightly different method, spectators and, on rare occasions, the victim themselves would pull the rope to execute the criminal. The executioners, however, weren't always human. If the offender was caught with stolen cattle, the release rope would be attached to a cow who would play the role of the headsman. If someone committed an offense against a horse, the horse would pull the rope, and if someone stole wool from a sheep, the sheep would kill them. It was a great chance for audience participation because people had to yell go. To begin. 6. The Drunkard's Cape is Guaranteed Amusement. In 1655, a Newcastle resident claimed to have seen a punishment that seemed strangely fitting. Those who were considered a public nuisance due to their drinking were forced to wear a barrel as they were paraded through the streets. There were cutouts in the large barrel for the booze hound's hands, feet, and head. Then they would wear the drunkard's cloak and march through the streets of the city, attracting the jeers and laughter of the locals. 7. Stay for the knife-wielding trial. Many bizarre and often fatal punishments were carried out across Europe in the pre-modern era. A knife trial was one example of such a procedure. Those convicted of attempted murder with a blade were given this. On a table, the fingers of the guilty hand were spread out. After that, the attacker dug his own knife so deeply into the victim's hand that the blade became stuck to the table. Next, the guard instructed the inmate to lift his hand off the table, but not the knife. 8. Whip up a storm refers to a method of beating and killing inanimate objects. There once lived on the Greek island of Thassos a sour old man who held a special enmity for the famous Olympian Theagenes. When he needed to get his frustrations out, he would beat the statue of Theagenes. One day, the statue toppled over and crushed him to death. The statue was formally tried and sentenced to death by the man's family before being dumped into the ocean. In 1591, a bell in a Russian town was banished to Siberia for doing its job. After the death of Tsarevich Dmitri, Ivan the Terrible's youngest son, the alarm bell rang. But it caused a riot, and many people were killed as a result. After being flogged and having its tongue torn out, the bell was finally cast out. The story ends happily, however, because in 1892 it was pardoned entirely. 9. Chinese Ling Chi Similar to how treason and murder were punishable by Ling Chi or death by a thousand cuts in ancient China, the most heinous crimes were subject to this extreme form of execution. A sharp blade would be slowly dragged along a pole while the condemned person was tied to it, causing excruciating pain and profuse blood loss with each slash. This could take hours or days, during which time the person would gradually lose consciousness. The purpose of Ling Chi was to both shame the offender in public and serve as a deterrent to others. Weird punishments have been around for centuries, and their effects on society have been multifaceted. While they may have had some deterrent effects, they also helped to maintain existing inequalities and desensitize people to violence. 
It is essential that we learn from these historical precedents and move forward with the development of a legal system that is equitable, humane, and progressive as a society. Your visit and support are greatly appreciated, in return, I ask that you leave a like and a subscribe button until we meet again.